Hello friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. This is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming and I'm working on some ephemera folders today and our little ephemera holders for snail mail or a little thank you mail. So um, these are just little folders I've been creating for, you know, just a quick little something I want to send to someone to sit and, you know, maybe I spotted like this one, I spotted the, these two little in my stash flamingo cards and decided I needed to send them to my friend who likes flamingos so you guys can guess who that is and put it in the comments if you know who it is but anyway <laughs> I thought that would be fun and here's the two little postcards they're old postcards this one was never used this one was used this one let's see if I can read the date 1979 I think so pretty cool eight cent stamp there but Anyway, so I said, well, I have to send these to my friend, you know, so I mean, so, but I wanted to make something cute to send them off in. So I made this little, there's a little piece of paper in between here that I, um, I hadn't done that before. And I thought I, I wanted to put something there. So I put a six by six piece of paper. I just slid it in there and there you go. You have a pretty little decoration in the middle. And then I'm able, I picked out envelopes that these, uh, these are coffee dyed envelopes that these little postcards would fit into. And so now I've decorated it. There's a flamingo here from my bird book. And these are shorebirds. And this was a description about the uh, flamingo, but then I decided to decorate it with these leaves. They look like palm leaves. And then I have some other little sticker decorations here, little dots and things. And then the front looks like this. This is some like glittery type uh, washi. And here's the back. And this is two strips of washi here. So that one is done. So that one's ready to go, ready to mail to my friend. And then I have another friend I wanted to send a little thank you email to. So I decorated this one with some of my pieces from your creative studio. And maybe you recognize them from the video, but there, this was just like a six by six or so piece of paper. And then this was the labels. I just put a strip of labels right there as like a little spine. And here's the other half of this paper. This had the two people on it that I wanted in the, in the front. And this has a little building on it that I thought was pretty and put that on the back and then the inside was a little challenging for me because it has this kind of opening like the other one did too where it's like a triangle right here but again I put another piece of paper in there uh, one of those that like I used on the front here I just slipped it in and look how pretty and then I used some of my bits and pieces my all my scraps I used right here from this tearing this paper up like on the front and stuff I used all the scraps here and here and then I added these labels to deal with <laughs> the triangle. And I think it looks pretty, you know. It just was a little challenging for me to figure out what to do around the triangle there. So that's what I did. And I think that looks pretty neat. So I'm going to put some things in there to send to my friend as a little thank you. I was going to finish this up and show you. I have, you know, I don't know if I'll actually be able to do this on video. But uh, if I can get the backing off here real quick. Yeah, this one came right off. So these are little pieces I got in the Your Creative Studio box. They're little rulers. If you saw that unboxing, you saw me open these. But they're stickers, so I thought I would put one right here uh, in between the spine of the labels and this piece of paper here. I thought it would be a good little kind of decoration there. If I can center it maybe and put it right down here. It feels pretty sticky, so I really don't think I need any extra glue on there as long as I press it down, but it looks just like a little like yardstick or something or a little ruler. It even has a little hole right there like a, certain rulers might have. So that is there. And then I have another one. Let's see, I had another one here. Here it is that I might put back here. So cute and it's the perfect size. So if I can peel this backing off, again, I will do it on video. Otherwise, I will have to save it for later. Some of the backings are a little hard to get off of some of these stickers like this that just have the backing the same size as the sticker you know <laughs> if you tried to use these before you know what I'm talking about but uh yeah this might be one of those I got glue in my fingers too because I've been working on this project but uh I'll give this another little second here to work for me and if it oh oh here it comes yay okay now we can see what it looks the finished product looks like so I just wanted to share this with you and then make another one so there we go a little decoration in between our spine spine and our little paper there isn't it cute I love I love this 
whole uh, labels on the spine here. I think that's really pretty, and I like the contrasting colors and everything. So that one is ready to go. I just have to put some, and I'm, you know, I've got lots of ephemera in my ephemera stash to send my friends some little journaling cards or tags or both or whatever, you know. So that one's done, and I thought we could do one together. So I pulled out these envelopes. They're a little bigger, but they have a straight, you know, little opening here without the triangle. So I wanted to try a couple of these. So we would just put it together like this and see how we do. So we're going to put it together and just go like that. I don't really feel like it needs glue on the inside here. So far I haven't really felt like any of those needed glue. I just put glue on the outside flap. Let's see if I can just get this together here. Okay, it's not wanting to slip in there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, it's together. So it'll be like that. Folding. This is our front and our back. So I haven't done a big one like this. This is this might be a challenge just to cover a big one like this with whatever papers I have out here. We'll see how that goes. But um, I have my Your Creative Studio. I have some books out here that I could actually use. That might be, be the better thing to do on these since I need bigger pieces of paper. But um, all I do to put these together is glue this outside flap down on these because it's going to be like a little, it's an ephemera folder or a little booklet or whatever you might want to call it. It's going to get plenty of glue on there and around the edges mostly in particular to get this all held together here. So there we go. So that is the way I've been holding them together, just like that. And then Okay, so what do I want to use? I've been decorating the outside first. So let's see how we can decorate this. Um, I've got plenty of labels here. So I could use the labels over my other books I have here. Let's see. I have this one here, Architectural History. And I have a science. Well, this is an encyclopedia. These are encyclopedias. So, uh, let's see if there's anything that grabs me here. I don't think, well, these, these are pretty with the trees, aren't they? Hmm. Like this tree right here, wouldn't that look pretty on the front? Let's pull that one out. I've already used some of these pages. Let's see how they come out. They come out, these are really good because they come out as a whole. If you uh, see the strings there. So let's see if I have a couple of tall trees. There's only two tall trees right there. That's pretty right there too. But let's get these two pages right here out and then we'll look for more if we need to. Yeah, so yeah, I guess I'm going to go with the trees. That's just grabbed me. All right. I haven't used any of this yet either. So that will be fun. Let's see what we got here. So let's pull one page, pull these pages separately here. There we go. This one's kind of grabbing me for the front right here. I think that would be really pretty. Right there. So I'm going to cut this to fit over this whole side of the envelope. And we can have a little border of copy dyed paper. So make a little fold right there where I'm going to cut. Let's cut. You never know, I don't really have a plan with these things. Usually I just kind of go with whatever grabs me and see how it turns out. So I think that's fun. There's a couple little leaves down here. Let's see if we need to cut any of the length off. Uh, I think if I just cut, let's see, if I cut right here, yeah, we won't be cutting too much of that leaf off. I could cut a little sliver off the top here too. I kind of would like to keep the page number. I think that's cool to have a little number up there. So we kept the page number, just barely. <laughs> it's right there, right next to it. So let me cut the blank part, part off here and see if that makes it short enough to fit in between our, on our, oh, it does, awesome. I didn't have to cut off any of that leaf, really. 
I do need to empty my trash though. <laughs> right after this video. Okay, so. Awesome. Yeah, these are nice little pages, aren't they? To put on here. And something different than what I've done before. So I'm kind of excited now. I didn't know I was going to make a little tree ephemera folder. That's fun. <laughs> my glue's kind of getting chunked up there. Let me get rid of that. And I have my new one here ready to go in case I need to switch over it. But I also have my Fabri-Tech here. So I'm prepared. I'm glue prepared. <laughs> Okay, that might be enough. Let me get a little bit on the edge here. In this edge, right next to the edge. Let me get it all nice and glued down on the edges. Okay, I think this is going to be pretty. And I might be able to use some of my labels on here too. We'll see if a label might look appropriate on here after we get the front end back on here. So one thing you got to be careful of is like when you're decorating to make sure when you go to the inside it's upright and you don't like accidentally turn around and then you know <laughs> you know how that will turn out things will be upside down and stuff like that so that's pretty I like that okay now see we've got all pretty much text here uh, let's see which way is up this one's all text this one's all text so that'll be good background that's text that's text but here's our other tree that we pulled out right here. Let's see how we do with this one. So I'm going to cut that off. But let me make sure it's wide enough here first. Let me measure uh, how wide we need this. About right there. Okay. So we'll make that wide enough for our envelope. And then see the, we'll deal with the length. Even. Okay, now. Is that right? Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Let's cut this part off here. These were from a vintage uh, encyclopedia. And now our length. So, yes. Let me cut a little strip off the top of kind of like blank space there, right above the skyline. <laughs> cut that off and then see what we can do to keep the most of the bottom part here where we have a little green grass growing. Yes, I think we'd get right into the edge of the grass there and it'll be short, you know, it'll be the right length for this envelope. That's cool. It'll look pretty with a little grass down there. Isn't that pretty? I'm loving it. Even that would be pretty right there, but we're not using that side. <laughs> we're not using that side. It's all right. There's lots of pages here that we can choose to decorate the inside to. I'm going to try one of these labels and see if we like it before we go to the inside. And I have my washi here from your Creative Studio and some more of those little rulers, some ruler stickers. And I have my film strip here too, if I want to use any of that, we'll see. That could be, that's like just a generic kind of, almost like a generic washi because it's uh, either, I don't think I've used up the off-white part yet and I am can use the brown part. Okay, so let's try a label real quick. Um, here's my, all my little ruler stickers. Uh, this is a label. See, I don't think that would go. I don't think that would go. Here's, oh, here's one I have cut out. See? It's too... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to like that. Okay. I think those are not going to be probably not, u probably not used. And the other ones are going to be too dark, too. The little, like these here. Too big and too dark. And the ticket's going to be too dark. Oh, wait, there's some white ones in here. Hold on, let me find. Here's my box. Let me grab it and pull it over here and see. Where are those little white ones? See if I can find them. What did I do with those? Oh, these right here is what I'm talking about. 
these. That's a brown one. That's a ticket. But these little white ones, those might look good. Well, that's just the outer cover. Here's the film strip. Here's this washi. That might be too dark. Here's the little, some more little rulers. And what else do we have here? A playing card is stuck in there. And that's about it. I have this, but I don't think I'll be using that in this project. So let me put that back out of the way. I'm just going to keep my rulers handy right here in case I need one of those because there's a green one. So let's see one of these real quick. That's what I would pull it out for. And that could go if we wanted to do that. But I don't know. I don't want to cover up the grass really. Let me see the back. Oh, it could go back here though. That might look neat. I don't know. I'm going to leave it for right now and decide on that later, but I'll leave it out here. And the washi is probably going to be too... Well, I don't know. It's film strip. <laughs> so I've got the rest of my washi here too, though. Let's see. This is film strip, and it is a good neutral color, but... Uh, and I don't really have very many neutral colors. I have this burlap. That could be cool. I wonder if that would look... I don't know if that would wrap around the spine properly. Let's see what else I have here. Oh, here's some green. The oh, these are tick. These are like tickets too. Kind of. I could try that one and see. Let's see. I don't have a lot of really neutral. I'm gonna keep that in my your creative studio box. And so I don't really have any green or like. I don't have too many neutrals really. So this one, this one could go. Hmm. I'm surprised, but yeah, this one actually might look good. So besides that, before I decide, and without taking too much time, this is burlap on a, I got this uh, on clearance I found at one time at Walmart, and it's a sticker, and it pulls off, and it could just go here on the spine. Let me see how it folds. It's kind of very stiff, and if it doesn't fold right, then it's just going to be too bulky. Yeah, I think it's, unfortunately, I think it would look good on here, but I think it's going to be too bulky. I don't want to take a chance of ruining what we've got going here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so this one actually, I, and it has this green and these light colors. I think it might actually look good here. So let me open it up like this and do it like this. See how it brings it all together? I'm just going to put a strip right down the middle here. And we'll even make fold this under a little right there. And then tear off this end. And that looks good. That's, I think that's a, it could be the first time I've ever used that. I don't even know where I got it, actually. Some some with some something I got it with something I didn't buy that by itself you know what I mean it came with something else or someone sent it to me in happy mail I don't know but I really like it, it has the days of the week on there maybe I got that with uh, studio calico one of my studio calico kits probably okay so make sure it's gonna fold nicely that's what I was worried about with the burlap and I don't think it needs any extra glue but I think it looks nice there I did do it a little crooked but <laughs> that's all right this will be I don't know what this will be probably someone's snail mail package so yeah I could straighten it out let me see you know my perfectionist tendencies now I want to fix it <laughs> Because I put it on, it was hard to get that straight. Okay, so if I do another row here, I could, ooh, come back here. If I do another row, I could get that straightened out. Let me think. Does it look good? I don't know, I'm covering up the tree though. I think I need to make it closer. How close can it go though? And maybe just another little layer on the spine that's straight How about that let's try it we can always peel it off because it's washing it kind of just peels right off but now I've got a straight kind of a straight 
thing going on there. And it kind of blends in to the piece that's already on there. So that's kind of awesome. Okay, and we can put another piece on the back too if we want. But there we go. Now it's straight. That looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. And here's a little piece I need to cut off. There. Pretty, right? Okay. I got pieces of that on my scissors. Okay, so what about the back? Do we leave the back alone? So we got a piece sticking up there. Cannot get that off, can I? I have to get sharper scissors. Okay, so that looks good, and do I think we need another piece on the back. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, let's get it upright. So we don't put our days of the week upside down. And I'm not going to worry about covering this part up a little bit because it's on the back. And you can see through it too, actually. So it doesn't really matter that much, but I just wanted, didn't want to cover up the tree in the front. On the front cover. Okay, so there we go. I like it. Got to use some of my washi, which I don't use very much, so that's always nice to use something that you don't use very much. All right, so that I like. Okay, there we go. All right, so let me get that out of the way and get some more uh, something to go with our trees. So we pulled this out, but it's not green, but this is green. And this is a thinner piece here, see? So, we could put that right there, and we could even, let me, let me see, yeah, I think we're just going to need to stick to our little sides here and not try to do anything fancy here. That's why I picked this, so we can just do a straight piece, because it was a little challenging, like I said, to do those triangles. So I'm going to cut this. That should fit like that. I don't know if we'll use any film strip, but I have it there in case. I'm going to cut it straight. I'm going to go a little piece here where it was in the books. I need to cut that off. I'm going to try to get this decorated. This is a simple decoration, but I figured it was something I could finish on video. <laughs> you know what I mean? The other ones took more time, so that's why I did them before I turned on the video and just showed you what I did. So this piece will go here. Very pretty. And let's see. We're going to have to cut off the bottom here. Let's cut that little piece off. I like this a lot. This is pretty. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to save that. <laughs> that is not worth saving. I wonder about this, though. This is really pretty, and it went with this. So can we just put this over here? I think that would be nice. The tree, um, what is this? The contents page, it looks like. But it's really pretty, isn't it? And why waste it? Let's just use it. You know? Use it right here. I think it's fine. Okay, so something like that. For that side, and we're going to be... Let me see here. I'm going to cut right beside the number, so we'll have the whole like number part of the contents page. Not that that matters, but that means... Well, I like this little, see there's a little edge of color there. I like that beside the word, beside this box. And it goes right there on the edge of the paper. So I think that looks pretty with that color right there. So if I have to cut any more off, I'll just do it over here anyway, even if we're cutting off numbers. And well, we might be okay. I guess we might be okay. And I'm going to keep the top, top of the trees there and then cut a little piece off the bottom like we did on the other side. Let's do that. 
And then we'll decide if we want anything else in here. I mean, it just it can be as simple as this. It doesn't have to be any kind of... The other one I wanted to collage and see how that went. And I was going to collage on here, but now I'm, I like these book pages. I really do like, you know, like I've said before, I like using my books. So, I mean, that's why, why I bought them and why I have them here in my craft room to do things like this. So, you know, I need to use, use them more because they're building up and I haven't been using enough of them. So, so you're going to see me using more and more book pages and not just text, but pretty book pages like this. So I think that's really fun to use the pretty ones even you know more than the text ones i mean i know it's good to repurpose the text ones but this is this is really fun when you get to use a pretty thing like that isn't it beautiful i love it okay so this one i know it doesn't have trees all over it but you know in the interest of not wasting this and it's still pretty with a little bit of the contents page in the middle there i hope you like it as much as i do <laughs> okay so there we go and that might be the perfect place to add a little decoration too we'll see we'll see what happens let's see i need to pull this down a bit if i can Maybe not. I think my glue grabbed it already. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, now let's see how this edge did over here. See, I, yeah, I need to. Well, I did put on. Can I peel it off? No. I just need to cut it off. First of all, I just peeled that up a little bit, so I need to put some more glue right here. Put it on a little crooked, so I'm going to have to trim trim over here yeah I'm gonna trim right here okay get this all nice and glued down on the edge here get rid of my trash okay so Now, let's try this. Nope, <laughs> I don't like that at all. Don't like it. That's weird. It's so cute, but it doesn't go. All right, that doesn't go. So let's see. So we can leave it like this. Here's what we have. Let me make sure everything's glued down here. Yeah, I need a little glue right here. Maybe this extra piece here is trying to come up a little bit so a little glue right there that's the washi you know sometimes you got to add glue to washi hold on let me get this going in the right everything in the right direction here that piece goes oh this piece goes on top this piece goes underneath so I put a little glue under that piece right there now since I peeled this up I'm going to put a little glue right here too Make sure this is all staying on. Okay, I know that's going to stay on nice with the art glitter glue. All right, so um, I mean, I think it's pretty just like that. That if I send this to someone in Happy Mail, I think they'll be happy with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can stick uh, lots of pieces of ephemera in here. I can leave it like this and just, I think it's pretty with the coffee dyed paper in the middle because on this one, you don't want to disturb your pretty prettiness there. Uh, let's look at the film strip real quick. I think I have a minute or two left. Oh, I left it out right here. Here it is. Let's just see if this looks good anywhere. I probably won't like it, but why not try it real quick? See, this is the white part. I haven't got to the dark part. I'm kind of just using this first. See what, uh, see that, that's going to cover up the tree. Uh, and both sides. 
It would look cute over there, but still covering up the tree. I just don't want to cover up these trees. They're so pretty. I know I don't want it there because I've got that little color right there. So I don't think I would want it on the inside. And although I might want to, want to put it there, I, I think I'd rather almost have some washi there if I put anything there. I kind of just like it just like that. And I don't want to cover up that leaf. So I'm going to call this done. I think it's time for me to go anyway. But um, that's the one we did together. I hope you enjoyed. And it's just a fun way to use some of your envelopes and your books. So thanks for watching today. I'll see you all next time. Happy crafting.